In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the ripple stitch. You're going to need your selected yarn, I'm using Stylecraft Special DK, I shall leave a link in the description box below of where you can get this. You will need a pair of scissors and a darning needle to sew in your ends and you will also need your corresponding crochet hook. I'm going to use a 5mm hook today but it will depend on what size yarn you choose to use. So you want to begin by creating your slip knot and you can do this whichever way you prefer. You're then going to take your crochet hook and begin making your foundation chain. Now your foundation chain is going to be in multiples of 12. So we'll do multiples of 12 and then plus three. So what that means is you're going to yarn over and pull through for a chain and you're going to do that 12 times. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Make sure that this um, foundation chain isn't too tight, otherwise uh, your work won't sit correctly. I shall leave a link in the description box below of a blog post I did rega with regards to how many chains should you do for your projects. But basically you're going to do your chain to whatever width you want your project to be. So you would just continue to do sets of 12 until you get to your right length. So pause the video, work your length and meet me back in a moment. So I'm only doing a sample piece today, so I've only done two sets of 12. But whatever your length is, you're then going to add another three chains to the end. And this is going to be your turning chain. So now we're going to work our way back along this foundation chain. And this is really the trickiest round of all. It's still fairly easy to do if you take your time with it. But you do have to make sure you are watching what you're doing so you create creating the right foundation for the next rows. So we're going to work into the fourth chain from the hook. So we don't count the chain that's actually on the hook. We go one, two, three, and then we're going to work into this space just here. And we're going to do a treble crochet. Now this is known as a treble crochet in UK terms. In the US this is actually known as double crochet. So you want to yarn over and insert your hook into that fourth chain from the hook. Grab the yarn and pull it through and you'll have three loops on the hook. Grab the yarn, pull through two, and grab the yarn and pull through two. Now this chain and the treble is actually going to count as an increase but that will become more apparent as we move along the project. So now what you want to do is do one treble crochet into the next three chains. So yarn over, insert into the next chain along, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and again. And once more. So you have another three treble crochets. Now what we're going to do now is actually um, make the, the dip of our wave just here or the dip of our ripple and the way that we do that is we're actually going to treble crochet two stitches together. So you want to start off your treble as normal so yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through so you'll have three loops on the hook and then yarn over pull through two loops on the hook and then leave those two loops there while you start your next treble into the next space. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and then pull through two loops on the hook. You'll then have three loops left there and you just grab the yarn and pull through all three loops on the hook and you'll notice that it just pulls those two trebles together. We're going to repeat that now. So yarn over, insert into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, you'll have three loops on the hook, and yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook. Leave it there while you work into your next stitch. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, 
pull through two, you'll be left with three loops on the hook and you're going to grab the yarn and pull it through all three loops on the hook. So that is the dip of your wave. We're then going to do another three treble crochets into the next three spaces. So that's one, two, and then one more, three. Now we're going to create the peak of our wave, or the peak of the ripple. And we're going to do this by increasing into the next two spaces. If you look closely, you can see here there is two stitches in this chain and two stitches in this chain. So we're going to do those increases now. And the way that you do this is do a treble into the next space. And then another treble into that very same space. And then again into the next space we'll do two trebles. One, and two. Now what you're going to do is repeat what you've done before. So we're going to do three trebles into the next three spaces, or one treble into the next three spaces, should I say? One, two, and three. So now what we want to do is create our dip to our ripple again. So we're going to treble crochet two stitches together. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next space, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through two. That leave, And you're going to leave two um, stitches left on your hook, or two loops left on your hook. Then yarn over, insert your hook into the next space, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through two, and you'll have three loops on the hook, which you're just going to yarn over and pull through all three, and then you're going to repeat that um, process of treble crocheting two stitches together. You're now going to do a treble crochet into the next three stitches. One. Two. And three. And then you should be left with one loop left, which is correct. And we're actually going to do two stitches into that last loop. So wherever you are on your, um, on your work, you will always end up with two stitches in the very last space. So pause the video and work that process all the way along of working your um, your dip and your peak. Finish off your end with an increase and then meet me back once you're ready to start your next row. So on my mini sample piece here I've actually only done um, one row of each but traditionally you actually do two rows of each colour just so that the pattern becomes a little bit, a bit more bold um, and it doesn't get too fussy but obviously if you want to do just one row of each colour you can absolutely do that. I'm going to continue with the same colour as what I did the first round in just so you can see how you would go about creating the next row. So here is my initial row. I finished off with an increase and what I'm going to do is chain three, one, two and three and turn the work. That's classing as your first treble. So at the base of this treble you'll have a stitch and you're going to do a treble into that very first stitch. 
Now this is where a lot of people make mistakes because they forget to do a treble in that very first stitch, but this is classing as your increase, okay? So now we're going to do one treble crochet into the next three stitches. So that's one, two, and three. So exactly the same pattern as what we've done before. So now we want to work the dip, so we're going to do the two treble crochets together. So that's essentially making four stitches into two. Now if we look at the um, the stitches from the previous row, if you look closely you can actually see that these two here and these two here are the treble crochets together, two treble crochets together from the previous round. And I actually have one stitch which is still empty before you actually get to those um, two double crochets together from the previous round. And that is correct because we want to connect this one and the first two trebles together from the previous row together. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, leaving two loops on the hook, and then this is our um, two trebles together from the previous row. So we go yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through all three. I wanted to mention that because sometimes people get confused, they think that they actually have to start doing the two stitches together from the two stitches together from the previous round but it just actually will make the pattern mist mismatched. So again we do another two trebles together and we will continue with our pattern. So we're going to do one treble into the next three spaces. One, two, and three. So now when we're increasing, if we actually look from the previous row, these are our two increases. You've got one and two and they look like V's just there. Now we've already gone into one of the stitches just there, which is normal, because we're actually going to do our increases into these two very centre ones here, if that makes sense. Again, some people think that you actually have to start your increases in this first one, but that will offset the pattern. So we're going to do two stitches into this next stitch. and then two stitches into the next stitch. And that is our increase again. So all you would do is continue the pattern. So three trebles, one, two, and three and then work your decrease. So pause the video, work your way to the end. I'll remind you what to do right at the very end again, so meet me back once you get to that point. So I'm now right at the very end, and this again is where some people do go wrong with the ripple blanket. Now, it might look like we've just done our last three trebles and that's all of the stitches done, but we can't forget about this chain three that we did right at the beginning, beginning of this round and what you'll have at the beginning of every round. We actually want to end on our increase, so we're going to do two trebles into this chain three section just here. So two trebles into there, and that keeps our edges really nice and straight. So at this point you might want to change colours and if you want to do that, that is fine. You can do um, whichever method of changing colours you like. What I typically, typically do is chain one and snip off my yarn and then pull that out and pull that onto a knot just because 
I'm a little bit paranoid about stitches coming undone or work coming undone. So I tie mine off like that and then I insert my hook into the top of that chain and grab my new colour to work. So I'm going to take this apricot colour and pull that through and tie that into a knot. and insert my hook into the same space again and grab the yarn and pull it through and just like any other round you're going to chain three turn your work and I like to lay my threads down along the work as I'm working along just to um, crochet them in and then you're going to do one treble into this very first stitch that's really important that you remember to do that before you start working your pattern. So this is counting as you increase and then you would start your pattern as normal. So that is the tutorial. Like I say, you can either do um, two rows of colour. I actually prefer it better with two rows of colour. But if you wanted to, you could just do um, a single row of colour. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you do have any questions, leave them in the comments section below, or if you have any more tutorial requests, leave them in the comments. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I shall see you again next time. Bye.